Morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about another Estee Lauder skincare product which I'm a bit surprised at to be honest because I, I'm going to be repeating myself in these two videos but I I always find that when I go to the counters like Estee Lauder, Clarins, Lancome etc their skincare products have alcohol in them or a lot of fragrance and I, that, I'm just not interested in products like that so I tend to just discount them but I always look at new products so I had a look at a serum that I have bought and done another review on this shape and feel serum and the ingredients were great and then she she was giving me a sample of that and she gave me a sample of this face mask and I had a look at the ingredients again was pleasantly surprised so yeah I am a bit surprised but anyway it's this it is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Mask Boost I'm really surprised that I bought a mask because I don't use masks very much I, the only mask I really take time to use is I've got a black, it's like the Bosch Illuminizing Mask. It's a kind of peel off one. I don't actually use that one. It's a sort of dupe that I use um, from eBay that I think I might have done a video, a dupe video on. But that one, I, I feel like it clears out pores. But every other mask that I've tried and used, I don't ever feel an amazing result from, from them. So I've just never spent any money on masks never wanted to buy anything too expensive. I have got a couple of expensive ones, but I've either bought them with, you know, vouchers or points or got them as gifts. Um, and I just don't do them regularly enough because there isn't, there just isn't enough of a result for me to remember or prioritize it in my routine. Um, and I said that I would look after my skin a bit more this year. So yeah, I tried this and I just fell in love with it. And it takes a lot for me to say, I fell in love with the product. Even if you've watched my other review of this um, New Dimension Shape and Feel Serum, I love the way this feels on my skin, I love the scent, and it's got great ingredients, but I didn't fall in love with it, I wasn't wowed by it, um, whereas this I was, I, because I wasn't intending on buying this, and I just used the sample twice, so I used it one day and the following day in a different way, and I thought, you know what, I love this and I'm going to spend the money on it. So I went and bought it from Debenhams, the only thing is I thought I wish they'd have had the um, what do you call it, the bonus time on because I was buying two products, but never mind, I wasn't going to wait. I asked and it wasn't until March, so I thought I'm not going to wait until then to buy it. Um, this was, it's advertised as £45, but in Debenhams, for some reason, it came up as £40.50 as I checked out. And actually, it was, it was the Clinique counter I was paying at, and she said, well, I don't know why that's come up as £40.50, but it said the full name, so I don't know whether that was a special event they had on that day or whether... Um, Estee Lauder have got you know a discount going for a while I'm not sure but br absolutely brilliant stuff so what I'll do is I'll read you what it says on the packet about the claims um, and then I'll tell you what I think of the ingredients what kind of skin type it's for how to use it or how I've used it and I think that'll be us so I need my glasses <laughs> glasses time okay it says Wrap your skin in sensual comfort and help reverse the visible effects of fatigue for a more rested healthy luminous look so, um, I don't know about reverse the vis visible effects of fatigue because I wasn't necessarily tired when I put this on, but it definitely does give a healthy luminous look for sure. This multi-action mask delivers an immediate radiance boost. Yes, I would agree with that. Intensely nourishing and moisturizing, yes. Infused with Intuigen technology and a breakthrough energizing complex, it helps significantly reduce the look of multiple signs of aging. Use with Revitalizing Supreme Cream to, of course, it's telling you to use one of their other products. So I think that's all the claims. Um, let's see how it says to use it on the Estee Lauder website. How to use. It says apply generously over clean face and throat, avoiding the eye area. After five minutes, gently tissue off, use three times a week. If you saw the lighting change when this clip came on, it's because the sun was coming up and coming right in my face, so I had to switch to my artificial lights, unfortunately. Um, so what was I saying? How to use it. So that's how it says to use it. So that's what I did with my sample. I used half of my sample and put that over my face and left it on as a mask. And I did then tissue it off. I would normally use like a face cloth and wipe it off, but I did just tissue off the residue and sort of just press the rest into my skin. And my skin just felt amazing. And hopefully I have still got the clip I actually sat down and videoed it I had not a scrap of makeup on I sat down and videoed it because I thought it just looked it made me look glowy and I actually then went out I only popped over to um actually I went out to buy this I went to my local shopping center to buy this I was just like excellent I already knew that I'd like this because I've been using it for a couple of days 
and I thought I definitely definitely want this so I went out to the shopping mall with my face like that um, and just hoped I wouldn't see anybody but I felt like my skin did look really luminous so hopefully it looks the same on video and hopefully I get the clip if I do do have it I'll put it in here um, but I used it two ways the first night I used this as a face mask and the second night I feel like with any face mask that's moisturizing you should be able to leave it on your skin and rub any residue in and leave that on as you're kind of if you're using it at night as your overnight cream not necessarily under makeup it's not something I do in the morning before makeup but it's something that I would do and like I said I should be able to leave the residue off on exactly what I did with this and it felt great so the following night I used this as a night cream and it worked really well that way as well so I'm really chuffed with that because Again, I'm often looking for a night cream and it's not just the ingredients that I find I don't, are not acceptable for me, like they've got too much fragrance or alcohol or whatever, but I, they're all in jars, whereas this one is in a tube. So I have been using this as a night cream. I just put a thin layer over my skin and I wake up in the morning and it does feel like it's giving it a lot of moisture and it's just fantastic stuff. And it, I love it when I've got a product that I can use those two ways, you know. For ingredients, again, it doesn't have any alcohol in it and it has very little fragrance in it. This is what the cream looks like. I'm just gonna put it on my hand here to see what the fragrance is like because it does have fragrance in it, but it's very low on the list and I don't remember the fragrance. Oh, it's lovely. It's actually very, very light. It's not one like you don't open it and, you, or, and put it on and you can instantly smell it, but close to me, I can smell it. Can you see the difference? Let's see if you can see the difference in my hands there. It just gives that beautiful luminosity. It has got a dry in it, so um, let me talk about the ingredients while it's dry in. It doesn't have any alcohol in it and it's got fragrance very low on the list. And there are some really lovely ingredients in there. There are some anti-inflammatory ingredients. There are some really good moisturizers in it. And it's, it's just an all round lovely product in my opinion. And like I said, I'm very surprised that I'm saying this about Estee Lauder. I would expect me to be saying this about Paula's Choice, Dr. Jart, um, Peter Roth, Peter Thomas Roth, other names, that, there's plenty of other companies that I would expect to be saying wonderful things about. And honestly, like I said, these places like Estee Lauder and Dior and Lancome are places that I would normally go for my makeup. I wouldn't normally turn to them for skincare because every other time I've looked at their ingredients, they haven't been great, but these are absolutely wonderful. Um, Let's show you it now. Can you see how it leaves that just sort of luminosity? It's really, really beautiful. I haven't actually used this in the morning. That might be nice under makeup, but actually thinking about it, no, it won't. That's something else I wanted to tell you. With the Shape and Feel Serum that I did the review on, on the Paula's Choice review, because I always have a look at Paula's Choice and see if they've picked up anything that I've missed and they're looking at it from a science point of view, so am I normally. Um, I first science, I look at it from firstly a science point of view and then from a kind of my experience, because again, those of you following my channel will know, I want my skincare, particularly my evening skincare routine, to be a whole experience. I want there to be a lovely scent, but I don't want it to be highly fragranced and irritating, and you know, I want it to feel lovely and have lovely ingredients. Um, and on the Paula's Choice review that I checked, it said that this one pilled on the skin, like, you know, balled up. And I didn't find that with that, and I used that under makeup. This one, however, does do that. That's the only downside. As I said, I put it on and then went out to the shopping center, but I could feel like, if I went like this, I could feel it sort of balling up in my hands. So that wouldn't bother me at all if I was putting it on. When I put it on as a night cream, it didn't do that, I guess, because it was, for the mask, I put on a thick layer, then tissued it off. There was probably more left on my skin. For the thin layer I put on as a night cream, it didn't do that. Um, but I wouldn't even be bothered if it did, is what I'm saying. You know, if I put a thick layer on and I was just staying at home, it wouldn't bother me. It was only because I was out and I was kind of like, ooh, I don't like that. Um, but that's something to point out to you. Skin types, this is aimed at normal to dry skin types. I have... I'm 43 and I have obviously aging skin. I've got oily skin, but it's actually not that oily at the moment. And it's even when it is oily, it's dehydrated, which I know is an uncommon mix, but that is the way that my skin is. It does get dehydrated. I don't have dry patches. I don't have dry kind of scaly skin, other than I did have a little bit on my chin where I've been using retinoid cream recently and it has gone a little bit 
dry and that's definitely disappeared using this um but it is aimed at normal to dry skin but like i said i've got oily skin i don't think there's anything here that is problematic for oily skin um but if you do have oily skin and you're not dehydrated or dry then you may not be interested in this full stop because generally when my skin was very very oily and i'm now on medication to balance that out because it's a hormone imbalance um i wouldn't have gone near anything that said it was luminizing or glowy or anything like that but um it does leave that that glow to your skin that's everything um i am going to be trying new skincare products in 2016 potentially um and think but things like this like i'm now not looking for a mask for moisturizing this will be it this will be the one that i use and i'm going to try and use it a bit more regularly but i'd like to hone my skincare routine and so i'd like to find the missing things like i still don't have a good um BHA or AHA the one that I use from Paula's Choice I, I'm just not getting on with and um, so I need to find some of the missing products and kind of get my skincare routine in place and then I will do a video for you guys um that's everything let me tell you what I've got on my face I have on the MAC pigment in copper sparkle no copper so the copper or copper sparkle I can't remember which I'll list it below for you on my cheeks I've got the Ciate Olivia Palermo blush and bronze duo then on my lips is mac stripped down lip liner and two-faced melted sugar lipstick so that's everything thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon